Tottenham Hotspur fans were left reeling after a whole host of poor individual displays gifted Manchester United a 3-0 victory in North London on Saturday to leave the Lilywhites eighth in the table. And with manager Nuno Espirito Santo feeling the pressure, players must also take responsibility for their poor performances as Spurs' dreadful spell continues. Express Sport takes a look at four players who should be reflecting on their current form after the humbling defeat. Harry Kane Kane has only scored one goal in the league this season, coming against one of the division's worst sides in Newcastle United. A lack of goals is the main problem at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, with Kane expected to be the focal point for Nuno's men. However, not only is the England captain not scoring but his lack of effort is apparent as well, with last season's Premier League Golden Boot winner portraying a shadow of the figure he has been in the past. However, not only is the England captain not scoring but his lack of effort is apparent as well, with last season's Premier League Golden Boot winner portraying a shadow of the figure he has been in the past. Hojbjerg started the season well, acting as Spurs midfield battler in their superb run at the start of the season. The Dane also scored against Aston Villa a month ago in the 2-1 win, but since, he has been poor in central midfield. The signing from Southampton misplaced a number passes in the defeat to United, including firing a horrendous ball to Oliver Skip to lose possession in the Red Devils' second of the game. And with many other players waiting in the wings for a starting spot, he must reflect on the loss to consider his future. Dia, like Hojbjerg, started the season on fire with three clean sheets from Spurs' first three games in the league. However, his performance yesterday meant it easy for United to dominate the North London outfit repeatedly. He was also a huge reason for United's second, playing Edinson Cavani on side by a few yards before the Uruguayan had all the time in the world to chip Hugo Lloris. And with fans taking to social media to slate the defender, he must look at his performance with horror considering he is one of Spurs' more senior players. With the Spurs duo deep into United's half, only Victor Lindelof was following the South Korean, who would have beaten the United defender to the ball due to his blistering pace. Yet by taking his time, Lo Celso played a horrendous pass that trickled to Sun and effectively ruined the attack. Fifteen minutes later, Cavani equalized to put the game to bed, and Lo Celso should be looking at himself for Spurs' downfall. 